Hello, Hell Stalkers. This is Derek Klein coming to you from the Hell Palace here at Hell Trace and uh, monitoring again a threat of severe weather and hail across the United States for June 4th. Uh, really similar to what we had yesterday on June 3rd. And uh, speaking of yesterday, let's go ahead and take a look at the recap of the uh, the maps, the storms that we were able to put together for Wednesday, June the 3rd. Uh, it was active across parts of eastern Colorado and uh, with all that activity we were able to put together a three-star hell map from Centennial to Greeley to Loveland and to Parker Colorado so uh, a lot of the areas around the Denver Metro for hail up to the size of tennis balls and uh, uh, 91,000 houses impacted by the storms yesterday now not 91,000 with tennis ball size hell otherwise we'd be looking at a five-star hell map from hell trace uh, but 91,000 with quarter size hell with some of those with high volumes amounts of quarter size hell and then we've got pockets of golf ball size hell and even a, a, an area that we had of the tennis ball size hell uh, impacted across parts of the Denver radar site so that's an 85 mile radius around the Denver Metro or the Denver International Airport. So uh, again, an active day. This is the first three-star hell map that we've done this year uh, for the Denver Metro area. But typically, June and July are the more active months for Denver. And so I expect to see a lot more. And speaking of that, it looks like we could have some more again this afternoon. So let's go ahead and take a look at the forecast uh, for this afternoon across the uh, Denver metro area and taking a look at it again your june 4th hail forecast for today uh, we've got a, a fairly large area that we could see uh, some high impacts or at least some large hail possible uh, as we go through the afternoon so uh, again our area right here again across really similar areas to what we had uh, yesterday so we, we've shifted this purple area just a little further to the east so I don't think that the biggest hail will be right on the Denver Metro but I do still expect thunderstorms to fire as we go through the afternoon hours across Denver so again we are gonna have some hail right over in here as we go through the afternoon hours and the evening hours that's gonna fire in Denver and, and up towards Cheyenne and, and really up in this area. So probably the, the most likely area for a very large hell today, uh, North Platte over towards uh, Hastings maybe, uh, Nebraska. So that's gonna be our, our largest area. We've also shifted everything really a little bit further to the east. We're watching a complex of storms right now across parts of Kansas. Uh, not real intense, but uh, there have been some reports of large hail, although those storms didn't look very impressive on radar. Uh, they could intensify as they move towards the Kansas City metro. We'll also have a complex of storms that's going to form across western Nebraska. That should move all the way across really down the center point, uh, being down the Kansas-Nebraska border, and it should shift through Omaha and Kansas City. It does look like right now that the large hail probably will occur before it gets to the Kansas City and Omaha metro areas, but there will be a chance for some large hail uh, as we go through uh, the afternoon hours. We've also got an area, that, again, really similar to what we had yesterday, uh, but there is going to be some areas uh, of potential for some large hail. Uh, it should be fairly isolated in nature, uh, but we've got a little bit of a boundary that runs across parts of South Carolina and into Georgia here. Uh, a little bit of winds aloft, uh, probably not enough to really keep these storms to sustain through the afternoon hours. Uh, but as we go through the afternoon hours, we get some heating. We should have some pockets of quarter size hail, maybe even an isolated golf ball or two uh, across parts of Georgia and South Carolina and even, even southern North Carolina and, and potentially as far west as Alabama. So uh, that's a look at the area that we're forecasting the hail for today. Uh, let's take a look at individual forecasts and, and what, what we expect to see uh, as we go through the afternoon hours. So uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming from about 4 to 10 p.m. Uh, that's going to be your time zone. Again, hail a little bit smaller today than what we saw yesterday. So we're going to go uh, up to ping pong ball size. Really, probably nickel to quarter will be the most common across Cheyenne. Uh, we're going to do about a 20% chance for some large hail in Cheyenne. And uh, some winds potentially up to 65 miles per hour possible. Dropping south towards Denver, uh, a little bit larger hail. We'll go up to golf ball size hail possible in Denver. Wouldn't be shocked to see some of that at all. Denver probably has the 
highest opportunity, uh, in my opinion, to see some hell today. So we're going to go about a 30 to 35 percent chance for some large hell in Denver. So that's quarter size or larger. Again, from 4 to 10 p.m. And uh, we could have some 65 mile per hour winds with some of that hail as well. So again, Denver, the chances there is fairly high. Uh, most of the hail should be in the nickel to quarter size range, but we could go up to golf ball size hail uh, with the strongest storms. And especially just to the east or on the east side of Denver, uh, that's going to be your most likely area to see some of that large and damaging hail. Uh, North Platte, Nebraska, again, we think you have the chance for the largest hell today. So as we go through the afternoon from 4 to 9 p.m., uh, we're going to see the potential or likelihood of up to baseball size hell. And uh, we'll do about a 25% chance for that hell to occur and uh, some 65 mile per hour winds. And as we continue to shove off to the east from about midnight or from 5 p.m. to about midnight, Omaha and Kansas City. Uh, again, max hell size, probably golf ball, probably to the west of there though, uh, being the more likely area for this to occur. And uh, we'll do about a 15% chance for that and uh, some winds 65. We might even have some 70 mile per hour winds. These winds might get going uh, depending on how that complex of thunderstorms develops tonight. So that's a look at our forecast for today. That's also a look at the recap. Uh, the hell maps that we made yesterday are available on our website. Uh, so feel free to uh, log on and access those hell maps or you can just give us a call. We can get everything set up for you here at the office. Our number is 855-334-4245. Uh, as always, you can also contact us via email, info at helltrace.com. And uh, we hope you have a great afternoon.